with everything that's going on these days, it can be pretty hard to look good in front of your colleagues, in front of your family. Because not only do you have to look good, you have to look good on camera. And that's a bit of a different game than just showing up in your nicest suit. So today, I'm going to teach you uh, the most important part about looking good on camera. And what is that? Well, it's lighting. So I'll tell you about different uh, lighting uh, techniques you can use. And I'll tell you uh, about cheap solutions you can put up so that you can improve your lighting right away and start looking good on camera. Let's get to it. So when it comes to lighting, it's really all about exposure. Your camera has a sensor inside of it. It's opened up for a short while and it's exposed to the light. And the sensor measures that light and then feeds that signal to your computer or to your memory card and saves the information. The thing is that to get natural motion blur, see this, my hand blurs slightly when I wave it. To get that blur, the same as you want, you, you blur gets in your eyes or in the movies, the shutter speed or how quickly uh, the pictures are taken has to be twice the frame rate. So the frame rate is uh, how many frames you take per second and the shutter speed is uh, how long the shutter between each frame is open. The general rule is that you want your shutter to be twice as fast as the frame rate. This is called the 180 degree rule. But the thing is, you want the shutter speed to be high. To be, you, you fix your shutter speed. You want the aperture, which controls the amount of light that you let in, to be as big as possible because that's how you get the best clarity. And that's how you get the nice background blur. And also, you want the ISO or the sensitivity of the sensor to be as low as possible because otherwise you get a bunch of extra noise in your picture. So you can see in this picture, I set the ISO to auto now and it's much more, you know, it's not quite as clear. It's just not as good of a picture. So what can you do about it? Well, the cheapest you can do and probably the best, uh, for a quick fix is to get a ring light. Now, I'll link down in the description below a cheap ring light I bought. Uh, you can see it here. It's like nice and pink. And this is just a light, but it's in a ring. So it's got LEDs all around this ring. And the idea is that you want the light to be even on your face. Okay, so let's try it out. Turn on the light and it's gonna get very bright. Wow, that's pretty bright. Now let's allow the camera to adjust a bit. We want it to be focusing on me. So it should, yeah, there we go. Now you can see how brightly lit my face is. And you can tell that the camera, the shutter speed is fixed, the aperture is fixed. So what the camera did is that it lowered the ISO to be able to capture this uh, as clearly as possible. And the noise in the rest of the picture has gone really down. Now, of course, when you use a ring light uh, for real, you don't really have it like this. You have it around the camera. And as you can see, then you get this nice circular reflection in your eyes. That's my eyes reflecting the ring light. And you get a nice even uh, lighting on my face. It becomes pretty flat, but it's very well lit. But there are all the other solutions. So let's. Turn off the ring light here and allow the camera a bit to adjust. So you can go beyond the ring light. So I'll link down below uh, something called a key light. Um, you can get pretty fancy key lights. You can get very expensive cinematic key lights, but uh, I'm using the Elgato key lights and I can control them from my phone and from the computer. And it's very uh, convenient when you're doing a one man production. But you can get away with pretty cheap uh, key lights and I'll link down some down uh, below. So what is a key light? Well, it's basically just a box light 
um, that's pretty bright and it sets the key. So the key here is the color of the light. So it sets the color temperature um, in the picture. So I have two key lights actually. I have one here to the left, 45 degrees of me to the left. And I have another one here to the right. Now we call this the key light. That's the one that sets the key. And the other one we call the fill light. Now let's see what the key light does. We turn it on and see. Let's get leave the camera a bit to adjust. And you can see how much it lights up my face. But you can see that this side, 45 degrees from the light, is very well lit. And here we have a lot of shadows. Now, you can use this for a certain effect in movies. If you want a character to appear uh, mysterious or, or conflicted or something like that. But we don't usually want that um, when we're talking uh, Zoom. We don't want to appear conflicted or mysterious. We want to be as clear as possible. That's why you have another light called the fill light. Now let's turn that on. What does that do? Well, it fills in the shadows. So before I have very acute shadows and now we have a light that fills in the shadows. Now we can turn the brightness down a bit. So I still have uh, some shadows, but uh, they're not as deep as before. And you see, if I turn it all the way up, then we get this classic situation, right? My face becomes very flat. So I really prefer it this way. My face has uh, some character, but uh, there's still some shadows going in. The shadows give me character, but I'm still pretty well lit. Okay, now the final trick is to have a background light. Now, I've had a background light for the entire shoot here, uh, and it's all the way back there. And look, now it's on and you can see there's a nice background going on. But if I turn it off, there's not so much of a background anymore. And this is more acute when you don't have a ceiling light like I have, but just having a light there kind of brings life to the background. So that gives your uh, room much more of a depth. So it feels more like you're there and not just appearing on a green screen. All right. That's all I have for you today. Um, so I'll link down below uh, links to uh, a ring light. I'll link to the uh, Elgato key lights that I have, but I'll also link to some cheaper um, LED light alternatives that you can use. Okay. And uh, uh, so if you like this video, please uh, push the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want more advice like this. And uh, I hope you all enjoy working from home and, uh, and looking your best while you do it. All right. See you again later.